lot of things to show you today, but one thing is for sure, I have not been doing a lot of astro photography lately. It is nasty out there, and in this sub-freezing weather, I, I don't have it in me to, to roll out my rigs and go through polar alignment. Uh, I'm going to wait till it warms up a bit, and then hopefully... Um, I, I can I can hit the ground running and be as productive as I used to be. But let me show you this first thing. So, yeah, I've been on a bit of a spending spree lately. And this first thing I bought was a Total Impulse Buy. It's a super powerful flashlight um, that I spent over 200 bucks on. I saw a YouTube video and I, I just like what I saw. I like the idea of holding a flashlight outside and shooting a beam into space. It looked really cool and so it, it came with its own case here. It should for I spent over 200 bucks. And then it comes with another another little case here. And here's the flashlight. And it's really powerful. And uh, let's see how you turn this thing on. Uh, Alexa lights off. I think that's as powerful as it gets. Alexa, lights on. Now, the fun part is when you take it outside and you shoot a beam into space. If You can see uh, this is in my backyard and... It, it looks pretty cool. I like waving around the flashlight, but I really don't have much use for it. Uh, but even in my light polluted backyard, the beam shows up pretty well. Even with the snow out there, which amplifies the light pollution. So anyway, um, if you can think of a use for this, uh, let me know because uh, I don't go hunting and I, I don't go camping. The only wilderness I ever see is when I drive through the park. So... <laughs> All right, let me let me show you the next thing. Okay, so the next thing I bought is this miniature little. If I can get it out of here, this little exercise bike. I keep it under my desk, and I can just pedal whenever I feel like getting a little exercise. It actually comes in handy if um, I'm watching a movie on the TV or I'm watching a YouTube video. I swear. Pedaling helps me concentrate more on what I'm watching. My mind doesn't quite wander like it normally does. And uh, let me show you this. I'll have to adjust the camera angle. And that's our treadmill. I folded it up. It stopped working. It was probably close to 20 years old and I stopped paying for the warranty service. So I replaced it with this little exercise bike, which I grabbed again off of Amazon. It's kind of a pain in the ass to put together, but you know what? It gets the job done. Although not everyone seems to like the bike as much as the treadmill. Oh well, can't please everybody. Okay, so the next thing I bought was a Netgear Nighthawk router. I've I've dealt with a slow internet connection for too long. And so I I went down to the, the cable company. They gave me a new cable modem. I upgraded my internet service and now my internet speed is way faster than it used to be. Now my upload speed is not that great but it's about three times faster than it used to be and maybe that will help um, when I'm doing live streams for YouTube. You never know. So we'll see the next time I do a live stream, whenever that is. All right. Okay, this next thing I wanted to talk about is if you saw my last video where I captured the International Space Station, when I captured the space station, I was adjusting the position of the moon at the time. So it was really shaky. And, and I just left it like that. And I uploaded the video all over the internet. And of course... And I kind of expected it. I got some comments, and some were kind of rude. For example, what, you never heard of image stabilization? And uh, sometimes I try to keep my cool when I see rude comments, but other times I, I wish I could give people the middle finger. You know, you don't have to be nasty, but, but they're right. They're right. You know, I should have taken the time to, to stabilize it. 
the thing is, I didn't know how at the time. So the first thing I did after the fact is I went to YouTube. I wanted a really simple solution, something I could even do on my iPhone in one click. So I looked up on YouTube, image stabilization for the iPhone. So I, I, I pulled up the first video I saw. I, I, I found an app. It cost 10 bucks. It was a one-time fee. And okay, I'm going to try it and see if it works. And let me show you um, how, the, how this works. Okay, so I've got this app. I'm not quite sure how to pronounce it. I'll just flash it on the screen. And um, I'm going to start it up. And the first thing it's going to do is ask me for a video. And I've already got a video in my image library here. So I'm going to click on the moon here. It's analyzing. And let's see. I know it was a, a one button solution here. Let's see. I think that's it. It already did it. And then after that, um, let's see. What do I do now? I save it. File type. Quality high. Standard. Export. And I will save it to my save video. And that was it. And I'll put the results up on the screen and you can see for yourself if it did the trick. And that's all I got, folks. Thanks for watching. And I will see you later. This is a test. This is a test. One, two, a three, a fucking four. One, two, a three, a fucking four.